Hey everyone, hope you're keeping well. Just coming right back at you now with an update from the Warhammer Community tab regards to Astra Militarum. So the Imperial Guard obviously got lots of announcements for the 35th anniversary of Warhammer 40k and they're giving us a little bit more now and do you know what, these are really exciting. The reason why they're really exciting, we get some horses back in the Imperial Guard. So these horses haven't been seen since around 2009, yes. I do know we get some horses from Forge World, however, the price you pay for the Death Corps of Creek Death Rider Squadron is an absolute joke in my opinion. So obviously these models should be nowhere near that price. So that first of all is great. And before we look at the rules and that, let's just take a moment to look at the models and don't they look absolutely fantastic? One thing I absolutely love about these models, just from looking at them right now, is it looks like a normal horse it's not some horse that's been mechanically altered and things like that it just looks like a well looked after horse so from a theme and pur purpose i think honestly it looks fantastic and it'd be a model that i cannot wait to get my hands on paint up and get on the tabletop really um because my 40 40k army is imperial guard so hey it's super exciting for me um now we'll just jump into the weapon they've announced, so this is the Hunting Lance. Frag tip, you know, okay enough, however, it is quite cool from the fact that the ability, so each time an attack is made with this weapon profile, a successful hit roll scores two additional hits. So it wouldn't surprise me if they only have two to three attacks base, because obviously anything more than that, it could get a bit OP, however, it would be cool to see these go against like a large group of like low level infantry the melter tip however also doesn't this look fantastic in the stats plus two to strength minus four to ap and three damage obviously we don't know any information yet in regards to the actual strength of the model um yet so we'll find out due course and importantly as they are part of the integral force of the imperial war machine according to the Warhammer community page they get the platoon keyword, so lets them receive orders from Cadian Castellans and other officers. And the core keyword will get, help them gain bonuses. On top of their lance as well, they do have a las gun. So, ideally, from the looks of the unit, you're going to be wanting to ram them down the enemy's throats. However, on the odd occasion, you're not quite within range. You've got a shot in there, so they're not just sat there doing absolutely nothing, which is nice to see. They do have also teased for us next week a big reveal. So, in the exact words, join us next week for another reveal from Codex Astra Militarium, a big one. So, exciting times for Imperial Guard players. And, yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what else they bring out. You know, I know not everyone's happy with some of the removals from the next Codex. Um, and, you know, I am quite sad to see, you know, some characters such as like Commissar Yarrick losing his spot because, you know, he's a model that I've had from about 2008 onwards, so quite a long time. So let me know your thoughts for these models. Do you like them? Also, what's your overall thoughts on Astro Militarium and the announcement so far? Are you happy? Are you unhappy? Looking to wait and see more? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time.